What's going on everybody? So in today's video, we are going to learn how to make an API from scratch using Node and Express, and we are going to be using Heroku to host it. So this is what it's going to look like right here. We have this simple uh, JSON data, and you can see right up here it says uh, nodeapi.heroku.app, herokuapp.com, and uh, it just shows basic uh, JSON data right here. So without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so just go ahead and open up your code editor that you want to work in. And the first thing that I'm going to do is inside of my terminal, I'm going to do npm init. And for my package name, I'll just press enter, enter. For my description, I'll just add something basically like node API hosted on Heroku. And just press enter through the rest of the way. There we go. So now we have a package.json file made right here. All right, so now I'm going to install Express. So npm i express dash dash save. And underneath, inside of the package.json file, underneath the test, I'm going to add a start. And I'll do node index.js. This will be useful for us later down the road. And the next thing I'm going to do is underneath my dependencies, I'm going to add an engines and inside of here, I'm going to type in node and for, whoops, and for node, you're going to need in quotes, uh, the version of node that you're currently running. So if you don't know how to check that, you just have to type in your terminal node dash V and I can see right here, I'm running 10.16.2. So I'll check 10.16.2. All right. So now I'm going to create my index.js file. So I'll do touch index.js. And inside of the file, I will require express, const express is equal to require express. Next one, const app is equal to express. And let's do let port equal to process dot env dot port or 3000. And we'll just do a simple app dot get slash rec res and let's do res dot send hello world and right underneath here let's do an app dot listen and I'll do port brackets arrow function and console dot log example app is oops is listening on port uh, and we'll just put in the port number right here. You know what? Instead of doing port, let's do HTTP double slash localhost and now the port. All right, let's save it and let's run it. So node index.js. All right, let me go to it. Cool, so now I see hello world right there. All right, so going back into the code editor, I am going to create a new file that is going to be responsible for holding our JSON data. So I'll just do data.json. And inside of here, I'm going to just put in two NBA players with their team and uh, their points per game. So let's go with name, LeBron, or the GOAT, team, Lakers and I think he's averaging um, 27 points per game I'm not sure and let's copy this and we'll paste it just one more time and for another player let's do whoops Kevin Durant and let's go with 26 points I think he's doing 26 points I'm not sure uh, and there we go and now let's go ahead and import it into our index.js file so I'll just do Above here, uh, const import data is equal to require dot slash data dot JSON, and I'll create a new route so app dot get slash players not players player sa and rec res and let's do res dot send import data. Oops, I need a comma there. And now let's refresh our node server. 
All right, so if I refresh it, okay, hello world still works, but now if we go to players, there we go. So now we have JSON data um, with LeBron and Kevin Durant. And now let's take this and host it onto Heroku. All right, so there's a link in the description below that'll take you to downloading the Heroku CLI as we are gonna be um, hosting our application through our terminal. And go ahead and install that based off your operating system. I have Windows 64, so I installed that. And uh, inside of a different terminal, I am going to do Heroku login. And I've already signed up, I've already logged in, but if we want to log in, it'll ask us to open up another browser and you just go ahead and log in with your Heroku uh, credentials. Just click login. There we go, and I'm already logged in. All right, so now I wanna create another file called proc file with a capital P. And this is a uh, Heroku based file. So inside of here, what I'm gonna do is web colon node index.js and I'll save that so basically this will tell Heroku what server we're going to be running and what the commands are going to be used to run it before we do continue I just wanted to say that if our application was a lot bigger than this we would require a file called app.json uh, basically what that is it's uh, a file that declares environment variables add-ons and other information that's required to run an app on Heroku but since our app is really small we won't need it right now um, but there's a link in the description below that you can check out the documentation on how to build one and they even gave an example of it. All right, so now inside of our terminal, if you have your Heroku CLI set up and installed, what we're gonna do is do Heroku create and the name or application that we're gonna create. So I'll just do NBA player API Node.js. And it's gonna take a little bit, oh, okay, I guess it's done, Never mind. So you might be wondering what these two links are right here. The first one is the link to your actual application, and the other will be the Git remote on Heroku so that we can push our local Git repo to Heroku for deployment. All right, so to push our changes to our application on Heroku, what we're gonna do is git add, git commit dash M, I'll do first commit, and I'll do git push Heroku master and that'll push everything to our Heroku app. It'll take some time. All right, so now if we go into our actual application, And we'll see right here, we have hello world appearing properly, but now let's see if we can go to slash players. And there we go. Now we have our API deployed on Heroku. Cool, so I highly encourage you to try and add some more routes to this. Um, maybe add some uh, all teams or whatever, whatever your favorite TV show, characters, whatever you want. Um, but I want you to try doing this on your own. And the more you do this, the better you'll be. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.